In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Sisters and brothers, most welcome. This Mass is being offered for the intentions of Father Brian Price. This is the second Sunday of Easter. Friends, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, now let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. In Greece we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what want they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, 
and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. The word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. He is good. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. And fast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves a parent loves a child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments, for the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was evening on the day Jesus rose from the dead, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, 
peace be with you as the father has sent me so i sent you when he had said this he breathed on them and said to them receive the holy spirit if you forgive the sins of any they are forgiven them If you retain the sins of any they are retained but Thomas who was called the twin one of the 12 was not with them when Jesus came so the other disciples told him we have seen the lord but he said to them unless i see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in the house, but Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. do not doubt but believe thomas answered him my lord my god jesus said to him have you believed because you have seen me blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe now jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book but these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ the son of god and that through believing you may have life in his name the gospel of the lord It may surprise and amaze us that the apostles were so reluctant to believe that Christ had risen from the dead to live forever in glory with his father in heaven. But we must remember that during their two or three years with him they saw nothing in him but a mere man one with divine powers but yet a man certain prophets of the old covenant had such powers also christ had emptied himself of his divine nature and he had foretold his resurrection many times but that he could be really god as well as man was something they could not then grasp their slowness of faith had its value for the future church and for all of us we can thank the apostles and especially thomas the last to give in that our faith in the resurrection and the divine glorification of christ is that much the stronger Our Christianity which should have ended before the first Easter week had passed if Christ had not risen in glory spread rapidly to the then known world and he is still spreading because his father was none other than Christ our Lord and our God Thomas was the most valiant among the apostles Let, let us go and die with him. His faith was much stronger than that of others. The darkness I see, the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger on the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. This was the obstinacy of a child because of his strong faith. attachment to Jesus after eight days he appeared for Thomas alone which he never did like this for anyone else 
and he was invited to make all his tests but upon seeing jesus he professed his faith again my lord and my god so many people asked for him a sign and so many people wanted him to come down from the cross and prove himself as he is the son of god he did not accept those challenges when those disciples of john when they approached him and asked him who you are what reply we have to give the one who sent us he did not give a reply a direct reply instead he was telling uh, telling them you just tell him what you see what you hear and what you experience so here in the case of thomas he knows thomas very well that's why he came for him alone friends his profession of faith itself shows even without making the test he was his faith was deep rooted friends this is divine mercy sunday 2 in 2000 pope john paul ii instituted a new feast the feast of divine mercy which is celebrated today the second sunday of easter it arises out of a series of apparitions which a polish nun sister faustina received from our lord give thanks to the lord for he is good his mercy endures for ever I believe in God the Father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen let us pray for the church and live and by the spirit to proclaim god's mercy for pope francis archbishop michael mohall all priests deacons and religious of the archdiocese we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us pray for peace in every heart and land and for those in any need for all god's people who rejoice in divine mercy and in the resurrection of their lord for all civic and elected leaders for victims of natural disasters we pray to the lord our L- prayer let us pray for a greater awareness of god's mercy among all people for all the children preparing for first communion for their parents teachers and other members of the family we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us pray for the needs of our parish community for those who share in the sufferings of christ by illness and pain especially carol riche philip paracal kitty patnode rosemary bowick melissa mckenna and all who support them with their prayers we pray to the lord lord hear our, our prayer, prayer. 
for the spiritual and physical well-being of all parishioners and visitors. For those who have died from their families and parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. For all our benefactors and volunteers, and for the intentions of Father Brian Price, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all our parish activities and projects, and for all our personal and family intentions of each one attending this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, you know the needs of our country and your people. Hear us and answer the prayers of all who believe in you. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with the humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, the renewed by the confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always to claim you, O Lord. But on this day, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the pound of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Cecilia and all the saints who have preached to you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. Our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to see the repasses, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
my sisters and brothers behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word my soul shall be healed sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Let us pray. Grant we pray almighty God that our reception of this paschal sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, now we pray together. Heavenly Father, in these trying days, we humbly seek your guidance, wisdom, protection and help in regards to the covid-19 pandemic that you would grant speedy recovery to those inflicted with the virus and protection to those who have not come into contact with it we admit to you o oh lord that you are the only authority and power to see us through this situation for we are mere mortal people totally reliant on you and you alone as your son jesus taught us Look to your heavenly Father above for all things, and it will be granted unto you. So, merciful Father, we trust in you, and the words of your dear Son Jesus to look after us in this time and every time. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing.
May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, may you make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Mercy ascended, go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia.